protons and antiprotons. In this lesson, teachers use a model drawn from physics to help students understand how positive and negative numbers work. The lesson draws on the scientific understanding that when a proton collides with an antiproton, the particles are annihilated and a burst of energy is released. We can also visualize that using positive and negative numbers. So when we look at positive one and its opposite, negative one, when we combine those two together, we create what is known as a zero pair. Here we have an example with four protons and three antiprotons. This allows us to create three zero pairs, leaving us with the end result of a single proton. If we now look at this example using positive and negative numbers, we can create three zero pairs and we're left with a single plus one, so a positive result. If we now have more antiprotons than protons, we can see that we can create three zero pairs and we still have two antiprotons left over. In the investigation guide for this lesson, students are encouraged to use two color counters, one color to represent protons and the other color to represent antiprotons. In this first example, we're looking at what happens when three protons are combined with two antiprotons. This would give us two zero pairs and a single proton left over, which we record in the table as shown. This next example requires us to determine what we have to combine with three antiprotons to create four antiprotons. <laughs> 